There uh, have been uh, several things that uh, took place uh, in Israel in the last uh, year. Uh, and before uh, I invite uh, Matty Weinstein uh, to speak uh, about uh, what uh, Zaka are doing, I would like to show you something about Israel that uh, maybe not too many people are aware of. Israelis are creative not only in high tech and not only in technology. Israelis are, Israel is becoming a, a creative in a content, in TV formats, a paranormal activity a, a made its a fourth or fifth a premiere this year. The film director is working currently with uh, Steven Spielberg uh, and is doing very well. That's from the premiere. Uh, Kidon was a uh, an example for uh, multinational uh, collaborations with uh, Israeli uh, Ole Hadash from uh, France being the director making a movie about how the Mossad uh, killed uh, Mabchuch and he did it uh, uh, with a co-production with uh, France including filming in the French ambassador uh, residency uh, with a lot of uh, humor and uh, support and even Quentin Tarantino uh, got uh, interested in what goes on here in the uh, content. Uh, last uh, Purim, uh, who here knows what Harlem Shake is? Okay, so last Purim Tel Aviv held the biggest uh, Harlem Shake ever in the world with 70,000 people wearing costumes for uh, Purim and dancing for hours. I was there. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we also uh, saved the uh, Bengal tiger, flew over uh, from abroad to Israel to the safari in Ramat Gan uh, to have a very uh, unique uh, operation. Uh, these are all examples of, uh, of a Jewish concept that is called uh, Tikkun Olam. It means uh, to fix the world, to make it better and to make it
it's something that's very, very unique. Um, and uh, Zach is also very um, unique that the, we were recognized by the UN a couple years ago as an NGO. There's two uh, NGOs in Israel. One of them is um, Yad Sarai, you probably know or you don't know, and the other one is, uh, is Zaka. And what we uh, um, want to do and try to do and do with this uh, NGO uh, that we have is we train Jewish communities throughout the world to deal with terror attacks. If everybody, if we can go back five years ago, we had the explosion in the Bombay uh, in uh, India. Um, as a big country said, you know something, we know how to do it by ourselves. Zaka as an NGO went out there and helped uh, to, uh, this is the Mumbai house, to bring uh, the remains, to bring the bodies. Today, Zaka trains Jewish communities throughout the world in three main things. A, what to do in the first 15 minutes when something happens in their community, like uh, we know happened in Toulouse, like happened in uh, Bulgaria, like happens every three days in the Ukraine. The second thing we want to train them is um, how to take uh, and deal with uh, all kind of remains that they have. And something that's very important is uh, how to deal with the disaster in the community. Uh, I know you're going uh, out in a couple of days or weeks to this event you have in Barcelona. <coughs> what we bring into the table is in, in the beginning of uh, 2014, we decided Zaka to collaborate together with United Hatzalah, which is the uh, organization that does first respond in Israel and uh, uh, for the last two years we were talking about it a lot and we a lot of people said you know different uh, organizations are gonna fight with each other it's not gonna work everybody wants to lead the game and we accomplished that once uh, we collaborate together as a platform of uh, emergency uh, response of volunteers in Israel we're not two together we're ten and that's very very important because uh, now that uh, we use the technology of the Life Compass. We don't have the 2,500 volunteers. We have close to 5,000 volunteers on the same system, all have the same goal of saving lives. And I think the, the main uh, goal that we bring it into the table is with your technology and with your um, uh, uh, way of bringing technology into the emergency response, we can save lives. Thank you very much.